everyone. I know you just saw like me tidying up most of the morning, but I finally like got ready, like I changed, I put a smidge amount of makeup on. And now I'm just sitting outside in our back porch because sometimes like our house gets so cold that it's just nice to like come out here and feel warm or like hot, which I know is like kind of weird, but that's just how freaking cold it is inside. And yeah, the rest of the day, we're gonna go to a coffee shop to just work on work. And I have a custom portrait that I'm gonna do and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, trying to take my time, make it look really nice. And Darren's just gonna work on his work and we're gonna meet our friend there as well. And yeah, it's just a really beautiful day. I also wanted to sit down really quickly and talk about how excited I am that I'm like getting my period naturally. And I know it's like, you know what, it's not TMI because I looked the other day and most of the people who are watching my channel are women, so hello queen if you're watching. I am so happy that I'm having my period. Before, like the beginning of the year and all of last year, I had to get all my periods induced. I only had like two natural periods after I had taken letrozole and you know, it didn't work for me because I didn't get pregnant and then I got my period. So yeah, I'm just really happy and I, I did want to share like maybe two things that I think are helping with my period starting to like come back and it's not perfect. It's not by any means like a, you know, five to seven day like period, like it's a little bit longer. I'm not bleeding a ton, but anyways, I don't have to be super specific, but I have been taking Ovacetol, which is this like inacetol inacetol supplement and it's a special blend it's kind of expensive but it is a three month supply and i'm on like month two of taking it and i really believe that that's like helping a lot and the second thing that i'm doing i think is just like not stressing and letting go of like a lot of stuff that you don't need to hold on to and for me that was like the freaking obsession about getting pregnant and after like going to therapy and just thinking about it a lot and talking about it with like Darren and my family it's just something that like you really cannot control as much as you want to and when I thought about it I was like I don't really think that right now in this instance and even in the past I would have been like a good parent if I had gotten pregnant because I am someone who, I don't know, I'm just, I think I'm mature a little bit slowly, but I, I don't think I would have been ready to be a parent. And now, like every day that passes, I think a little bit, I feel a little bit more ready. Like, so anyways, just the stress of like, letting go of the things that you cannot control, setting like healthy boundaries, not stressing about, you know, you can't control people either. And those things have just been so beneficial for sure. And I really do think that has all contributed to my period being more, well, hopefully it'll become regular now. And I'm also trying, okay, I have like three things really. This is the third and last point that I've been exercising a lot more. Like I spin, I do like walking workout videos on YouTube, dance videos, just moving some way. I actually got like a Fitbit and I think it's kind of cute. It's kind of like minimal looking not super bulky and I've been trying to get like the whole 10,000 steps a day trying I, well I am counting my calories and I just I need to lose weight like I don't even like want to but I feel like I have to to get my PCOS under control and probably to fall pregnant naturally and I know that that's like upsetting because I was like really freaking pissed when I realized that like I probably have to count calories to lose weight because everything else I was doing was like not giving me results. But now I've lost a couple pounds and I'm like, freaking counting calories like works. Like it just works. So I'm trying to put in a lot more effort and trying to be more disciplined. And it's freaking hard, guys. It's like hard as hell, but I know it'll be worth it. And I'm just praying every day for like self-control and yeah, you can do hard things. Like you really can do hard things if you really want it. And I really do want to feel healthy. I wanna get everything back to normal. And I am already starting to feel a lot better like mentally. So, all right, I'm sorry. I'm kind of ranting a lot, but um, let's let's continue on with the day. Thank you for listening to my, my rant. <laughs> So 
So we are selling this old monitor and Darren is just cleaning it and it smells very vinegary. But I feel like that's the secret is vinegar. Yeah, it worked perfect. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Water and vinegar. Water and vinegar. It really does look nice now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go sell our monitor and then go get some groceries. We're gonna have burgers for dinner. I think that is the theme. So we made burgers and Darren's has an egg on it and we got onion rings. They're like actually really good and we air fried them and then he like peeled an avocado. <laughs> And then, I know you can't see it, but under all that lettuce is a burger patty with like vegan cheese. It'll hopefully be tasty. It is so stormy. Yeah. <laughs> we have a double rainbow. <laughs> It's so bright and beautiful, oh my word. Hello, did you order a pizza? Yeah.